on Russia's economy and more importantly on its... What type of sanctions have had the most impact on Putin? And what is the best strategy to change his behavior on either the Ukraine and cyber intrusions? Thank you, Chairman Kripo, for that, for that question. So I, I, we've had, as I already mentioned, well over 220 sanctions across the interagency in, since the beginning of this administration. Uh, and, and the impacts of our sanctions have been felt in a number of very significant ways. I would point as an example to the designations that we had in April against uh, Russian oligarchs and, and very close associates to Putin, as well as a number of senior foreign officials. Uh, in addition to the oligarch sanctions, we also designated entities that were 50% controlled, uh, owned or controlled by those that we designated. Uh, and as a result of those designations, we have seen a number of very significant impact. As we've sent the clear message to those that surround themselves with Putin that there are very grave consequences for their involvement with him in malign activities around the world. Relations Committee. And um, because of that, I thank you, first of all, for your written testimony. It is extremely helpful to us. Excuse me, can Congress expect more designations from the administration and when? Absolutely, Senator. In fact, this morning we is issued designations, both Russia-related designations, both in connection uh, with our North Korea program, where we designated Russian shipping companies uh, and business uh, owners, as well as Russian vessels. Uh, we also designated uh, entities and individuals that have in, been involved in sanctions evasion by 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 entity an entity that we recently designated uh, in in connection with uh, their their um, work with Russia's intelligence um, at, uh, sector. So Chairman Crapo, Ranking Member Brown, members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to uh, discuss the Department. Of